All right, so we are testing the MP155 just with a basic 3x scope. Uh, but what we're going to do here, because the MP155 is much, much cheaper and more available than the MP153 if you're doing setup, uh, trying to see what can make it work. Because this gun with certain ammos is extremely inaccurate. We're testing the Piranha right now, and it has about a 25% accuracy rate at uh, 29 meters. When I'm aiming at the neck, it's mostly hitting the body, so there's also a lot of drop here. This one was pretty good. We'll count that real quick. And basically doing three rounds of a seven uh, round two, including one in the chamber, since it's much, much, much cheaper early level to get that seven rounder than the eight round two. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Very, pretty consistently uh, hitting 20 to 24. So we're going to move on to the S formants now, which is just slugs, so far fewer shots. And then we can look at the overall damage a little bit later, but I think that it's going to be a lot easier to actually hit those ones. Because one of the things too is this Piranha is going to hit just so much armor. So many people wearing armor right now, especially for hunting PMCs. Uh, just like, not in love with it. It likes causing bleeds though. It's a bleed machine. Alright, so I'll do S form it's next. Load this up and do three rounds, eight shots. This one's like a tag driver, so you could probably use this for very long range sniping, the super performance rounds, and not have any issues at all. Let's see. Yeah. And very easy to hit, like the jaw, hit the center hitbox, account for the recoil, and work through that pretty fast. Even, I would imagine, at greater ranges, I haven't unlocked the better shooting range yet. but. That one, definite win. Let me just update my notes. For all three, and then we're gonna move on and move into another set of buckshot. So we'll go ahead and unload this. And we're gonna do this express 6.5 millimeter buckshot. So this is nine per um, for eight N. We're expecting 72 projectiles to hit the target, and we will see whether or not that is even remotely accurate. We're gonna get rid of this guy because he was about to poison our results right there. I wish it unloaded the, the, gun, the gun entirely. All right, we're gonna do the 6.5 millimeter express. Let me just reset. So a lot, again, a lot of drop. If you want to hit the head, you got to aim really, really high. Everything's going into the body. So of 72 though, it looks like a lot hit. Yeah. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I think that was actually worse than the Piranha. Yeah. Now that's... That's interesting, because the buckshot's like, you're gonna hit armor. It's gonna get absorbed a lot by armor. But the relative accuracies of buckshots, I haven't seen compared very much. Like, which buckshot is going to do the best here? One, two, three. That feels like I have slugs in. What's that, what's that about? 
Oh, that's express. Oh my god, it's just so inaccurate. Okay. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My god, my god. That was a really bad one. Express, not the way to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oof. Oof. Fifteen of seventy-two hit body. And let's see one last round. So the big problem here is you're just going to hit a shitload of armor. One hit the head. But between the two, Piranha was more accurate and hit more overall. Both of them have a shitload of drop compared to the slugs. Slugs don't drop like anywhere near as much. Which is funny when you look at the bullet velocity, it's only a little bit different. Maybe that's why these dual sabos suck so bad. Alright, so going on to the 7mm. Alright, we got the 7mm in, 7mm. This express can come back. I'll put the 6.5mm. That is nine, and then the one that we're running now, also. What on earth? All right, I guess we're gonna check EFT ammo real quick and see how many projectiles this actually is. How can you not put, no projectiles, no damage. That's an outrage, I tell you. Okay, what the fuck is this? Just Buckshot. I'm just like, yeah, it's just buckshot. Eight. So this has eight projectiles in it. So eight by eight, we're expecting 64 hits. Sixty-four. Buckshot very consistently has this like twenty-five percent-ish accuracy. Let's let me pull that up. And then I've got RuneScape running in the background, so let me just look back into that real quick. All right, and we're set. It's not looking good for the 7 millimeter buckshot, frankly. I wouldn't use this. <laughs> this is a pretty good one, frankly. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 3 top of head shots. So 20 and 3 top of headshots. Barely. And the, that's the thing with like the pellets, you need to hit the jaws. You can't hit the top of the head. Unless the person has no helmet. 
it's very unlikely to do anything. But that's where it's just a gamble. Like at that distance, you're just that's like even the distance between some of the shelving and like uh, the staircase in uh, Big Red, for instance. Twenty nine meters is nothing. You know, you're in game. I'm fighting people at twenty nine meters all the time. All right, last room, last wall. Let's see how it does. So it, it got a little bit more accurate as we shot it more, just by chance. And we're gonna check the eight millimeter manual. <laughs> and that just has a shitload of pellets, like an absurd. I actually don't know if I've used this one, but this is, this is gonna be a rough one to kill, frankly. We're in for a count. So what's that? 16 times 8? 8 times 8 is 64. So is that just 128 then? I think it just may be. My god. It sure is. 128 pellets. If it's accurate, this is probably really good. But I'm guessing it's not accurate and not good. It's going to be a lot. We're sending a lot down there. I guess if you're fighting 18 people at once and they're just spread out around this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. Man. Make sure that you check what's behind your target. So 18 of 128 hit body, <laughs> including two head and two good like center of head. So... I guess if you're going to gamble, gamble with 128 pellets, uh, and you'll do a little better, probably. Let's see if that holds up. That's kind of the thing here too, like so much of this is just gonna hit plate and do nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Jesus. Of a hundred and twenty eight hit body, including one that isn't a neck that counts as the head hit box. Or two. Two. Potentially. Two maybe. Two maybe. <coughs> That is a trend appearing so far with the Magnum. There are so many pellets with the shot pattern that if I'm aiming at the neck, uh, like two oh, two pellets are hit, which is, uh, that's, that's a magic number. But I'm having to empty the whole mag. So it's like, how often does that happen versus you getting the chance to shoot one or two times at somebody as they're running, as they're moving around? Like, those are pretty exceptional circumstances, obviously. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
I think 20. 20 out of 128 hit body. Including one head. If they have no neck protection. So, the lowest accuracy by far. But the most overall hits and the most hits on the head hitbox. Isn't going to do shit if it hits armor, though. A comparable, actually very comparable to the Piranha in terms of, like, what actually hits the player. So if we look at, like, Piranha and Magnum, Piranha will not really do anything to that Class 3 or Class 4 plates that people have. That flechette's going to be crazy to test out. Piranha will grind up armor, especially because so many of the armors now have like that tier two airman fiber in it. So like these body shots are pretty, pretty damaging, pretty damaging. Okay, so we're through with that one. Let's take a look. What is the next? Next one is FTX. I don't think these are gonna be good. I think they'll be accurate, but they're very light. Light slugs. So, long mode. Those ones are interesting. Just so many projectiles. You're going to hit something. Hopefully your target. Uh, grab these back. Grab these back. These are sick. Go ahead and pop these in. We've got the FTX. And let's try the FTX. Going for next shots. Next shots are nice because we can potentially avoid armor. Oh, laser. Oh my god, it's a laser gun. Exactly. But it's very accurate. Alright, I already know how all these are gonna go. Okay, I see. Eight of eight. So really the slugs like the slug comparison is gonna be much more like For the, for the sake of consistency, one more here. And maybe some of the slugs will like really suck. I actually already know the dual sabos are surprisingly extremely inaccurate and impossible to use at 20 millimeters, which is kind of weird. Oh, I fucked up that last one, but. Eight of eight, eight of eight, eight of eight. And those ones are so much faster to test. Test it easily. Unload. Throw the grizzly in there. The grizzly is also boom, boom, expanding slugs. But I don't think I, I don't know if I've ever used this before. So I guess we'll see if it's very accurate. I would hope so at this rate. It feels like it's like slightly less accurate than the uh, FTX, but I'm, I, sh I imagine that this stuff is just in terrifyingly high damage. We'll take a, take a look at the overall damage. This one is like almost like aim low, aim almost into the plate to hit the neck. Higher uh, shots to spread too. slugs are like that pretty much. Let's try rip. Yeah, so this also appears to just be big ass slug.
It sounds loud. Very accurate. Very, very accurate as well. Love it. Love it. It feels like it's going exactly where I'm pointing at this one a lot. Feels like the most accurate one so far. Very cool. CSP, which I also, I don't think I've tried these last five. So CSP is copper solid sludge gel. Got another sludge, let's see how it does. That one also super good. Just in terms of accuracy, I will take a look at the damage comparison and see. On the flechette, I expect to be, I expect to be accurate, but I also haven't used flechette <coughs> before. All right, so give this a try. My understanding is very high pen. I don't know how many darts, how many darts is flush yet, let's see. Eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of sixty-four hit. That's the lowest accuracy yet. And two head, but high head. So I guess it's, it's still consistent with 25% accuracy, it's just a very small number of projectiles. I'm assuming that the penetration though and the damage makes up for it, since all those things hitting the body are probably going to fuck up plate armor horribly. That's the worst sound. Obviously, if I were hitting these closer ones, it'd probably be a smaller spread, um, especially with the MP155. I think the MP155 is uniquely unsuited to these. Um, 
it's a real struggle on that side. So let's try out Slug. Look at the damage overall. Pop it in Slugs. So these are just basic lead Slugs. Holes from this one appear smaller, it seems slightly quieter. Otherwise, identical. Probably not gonna miss any like. Goes up just a little bit from where you're aiming. But pretty accurate. Uh, and then after this one, we have two more to test, but it'll be the last one. But, you know, like you would expect, all hit. It's interesting with the high MOA on the MP155, some of these, uh, some of these, like, bug shots are just crazy, crazy, crazy inaccurate. Especially when you think about customs. If you're trying to do setup on customs, there's a good chance that you want to try and take a shot at a player that you see from really far away. You can't do that with the, the buck shot. You're going to have to close way, 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 way in. It's gonna make it take a lot longer. You're gonna to have to do more ratting instead of actually like hunting players down. So let's look at the 50 BMG. I've never used this ammo either. This or the dual sabo I've tried and I was just confused, I remember, uh, by its profound inaccuracy. So I'm not expecting that to have changed. But let's see what 50 BMG. What the hell? Sounds like fun. Let's try it out. It's not that loud. It's very accurate. It's not very loud, and I can't see it. It's very fast round, so I don't I can't really see the tracer. It's extremely accurate. It's it's an extremely accurate slug. It's not very loud either for 50. We're saying it's like a converted 50 cal or whatever. Okay, we, we know how that one's gonna go. Extra perfect accuracy. And then let's do the dual sabo, because I was surprised by this one. I thought it was gonna be two shots tightly clustered. This shit spreads crazy all over the place. This dual Zabo, just two big old darts, and we're going for the same throw shots. Dual Zabo, all right. So we have one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven of sixteen hit. So only slightly, slightly better. And it was only by chance that it hit the neck hitbox where I was aiming there. Pure chance, pure chance. As you can see, it's not very reliable. Seven of sixteen hit body. And most of that went right into like where armor would be. Armor. Pan shot! Pan shot! That's actually a good, that would be a kill. These all suck though. I don't even know where it's going. It's going way behind it. Unbelievable. Three. Oh my god. And then we'll try this last one. It looks so damn good when I look at that gummo chart and I try it and I'm like, this is why I die when I use the shotgun. 
because it functions like the worst buckshot of all time. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one hit. All right. So really what we learned here was use fucking just use slugs if you want to hit people far away. We knew that one. And use whatever slug has the best pen. Use the best penning slug because they'll all hit basically pinpoint accuracy. The FTX was like a little rough. Uh, the Grizzly was like a little rough, just wider slightly. Um, at 30 meters, it was a zero issue though. You can hit the jaw over and over and over and over again like a tack driver. Even though this thing says it has 21 MOA, even though it's profoundly cheap, very, very cheap. This plus the 3x scope, you can get together for like 50,000 rubles. So, not too bad. You'll spend more money probably on the Ushanka. Good luck. 